The topic of discussion is the concept of economics and significance of statistics in economics. Let's now study what is economics. We start with the definition first. Alfred Marshall defines economics as the study of mankind or man's action in the ordinary business of life. Any transaction which you take place, which involves money in it, is a part of economics, can be considered as an economic activity. Second is that economics is the study of making choices. This implies that every individual faces a constrained income out of which he has to make certain choices which would satisfy his wants the most. So economics is the study of mankind or man's action in the ordinary business of life. Now let's study what are the components of economic activity. Number one, it's what to produce. What to produce means what kind of good or what kind of service do you want to produce. Now that would further depend on your capabilities and your feasibilities. Are you capable of producing that goods? Do you have enough resources to produce that good or service? That would decide what kind of good or service you'll be producing. Second is how to produce. Now how to produce implies the technique of production used in your production process. Techniques of production can be like labor intensive technique or capital intensive technique. Labor intensive technique would be using more labor and capital intensive technique would be using more capital. Third is for whom to produce. Whom to produce would decide what is the market. For whom are you producing the good? If there are no market or if there are no consumers, for whom are you producing it? It would be a, an irrational decision to produce a commodity. So for whom to produce is the market. Is your market or are your consumers of the good you're producing? Now let's understand the components of economic activity from a different perspective. First of all, there is consumption. Consumption is what you consume. It further depends on the income you're receiving. So if you have an income to consume a commodity, you'll surely do it. So consumption is a function of your income. Second is production. Now production is a function of four factors of production. I repeat, there are four factors of production land, labor, capital and entrepreneur. So L stands for labor, N stands for land, E stands for entrepreneur and K stands for capital. So production is a function of these four factors of production. These factors of production would depend or would decide your production activity. Third is distribution in terms of land gets its rent labor gets its wages, capital gets its interest, and entrepreneur gets its profits. So whatever income you've received or whatever income you've spent will come back to you in these forms. If you're giving your land, you'll be receiving rent in return. If you're giving your labor, you'll be receiving your wages and salaries. Capital, you'll be receiving your interest, and entrepreneur, you'll be getting more profits. So these are the components of economic activity. You consume, you produce and further the income is distributed. Now let's study what is statistics. First of all, statistics is a quantitative information. It is a number. It is a number giving you some kind of information. So statistics is a kind of a quantitative information. I say that there is 76% of literacy in India. Okay, so that is that 76% is your statistics. It's giving you some kind of information. Second is that it is a quantification of facts and findings. Through statistics, you'll be able to receive some kinds of facts. Like I said, 76% of the population in India is literate. So it is giving you some kind of a fact. It is showing you some kind of finding. 
Next is that all statistics is data, but all data is not statistics. If I say 76, will that imply something to you? No. However, if I say 76% of the population in India is literate, that is a statistical figure. That is giving you a meaning. So, statistics is the one which gives you some information. However, it is not necessary in the case of data, it should give you some kind of information. It can give you information or it cannot give you information. The data which gives you information is statistics and the data which does not give you information, it is simply a data. So therefore, Bowley defined statistics as statistics are numerical statements of facts in any department of inquiry placed in relationship to each other. So concentrate on the words numerical statements and facts. Numerical statements imply some kind of a data and facts imply some kind of an information. So any data which gives you some kind of information can be considered as statistic. Now, once you know about what is statistics, you should know what are the stages involved in the statistical study. First is collection of data. Obviously, for any study to take place, you should have some kind of data in your hands. So your first stage is to collect the data to proceed with your study. Second is organization of data. Once you have the raw data in your hands, you should organize it by omitting the variables which you don't need and keeping the necessary ones. Third stage is presentation of data. Now presentation can be done in the form of tables, graphs, pie charts and so on. So presentation of data is also very important. It should reflect some kind of an information like tables can enhance the comparison between two variables on the other hand pie charts can make your statistical study look pretty attractive stage four is analysis of data now once you have presented your data or once you have made all the tables and graphs it's important for you to analyze of data analyze in the sense to you know extract the information out of that so analysis of data stage five is interpretation of data now once you've ex extracted the facts out of your data so it's up to you how you interpret it so interpretation can vary from individual to individual it is your statistical study so it's your duty to interpret interpret your data now what are the limitations of statistics First limitation is that it studies numerical facts only. It cannot judge the qualitative information. It can only study the quantitative information. Second is that it studies the aggregates only. Now, if you, I give you a list of 50 students, individual marks won't mean anything in the matters of statistics. However, if I take an average out of it, that will be considered as a part of statistics so statistics studies aggregates only third is the homogeneity of data now statistics studies only the homogeneous data okay so if i give you a data for several years it will be difficult for statistics to analyze all of them together Next is the results may prove to be wrong without a reference. Now statistics as you know involves data. Now if you use data which is not authentic, so that would provide you with wrong results. So remember one thing, you should always use the data from authentic resources like census or statistical abstract of different states. Next is that it can be used only by experts. So for a layman, statistics would be equivalent to data. On the other hand, it will only mean a number to a layman. So the meaning behind a statistics can only be judged by the experts. Also, it is prone to misuse. Now, data can be easily manipulated. So if it can be manipulated, it can be misused as well.
we hope that the chapter was clear to you but if you still have any more questions simply contact us by visiting our website www.economicsharbor.com or email us at admin at the rate economicsharbor.com thank you and take care